Hey folks, Scott Action Jackson here. Um, sorry for being away for so long. I, I've been kind of busy with stuff, life. Uh, stuff has happened since I last did an action video game talk. So let's kind of hop into it. Now, for those who don't know, Ad Games and Sega had this little thing going on where Ad Games were, was making and releasing these little Sega Genesis minis. I think most of which was able to play some of the Sega Genesis games. And I'm guessing Sega got tired of this bullshit and decided to make their own mini. I guess you'd call it mini instead of classic because Nintendo has more or less made two classic systems. Nintendo Classic, they made the Super Nintendo Classic, although most people still call it these minis when they're probably not exactly. I, I think Sega is the only ones who, who are ma actually making this machine that will actually be called a Sega Genesis Mini. Now, this Sega Genesis Mini is coming out September 19th, 2019, and it will include 40 legendary games, 30 of which has already been announced. So here is the present list of games announced so far as of, as of today, May 17th, 2019. This, coming, this little system is coming out in September, which means pretty soon they'll probably release the last 10 left over, but... Out of 40 games, these are the 30 announced so far. Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, Space Harrier 2, Shining Force, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Toe Jam and Earl, Comic Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beasts, Gunstar Heroes, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Earthworm Jim, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, Thunder Force 3, Super Fantasy Zone, Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master, Streets of Rage 2, Contra Hard Corps, Landstalker, Mega Man The Wily Wars, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, Sonic Pinball, Fantasy Star 4, Beyond Oasis, Ghouls and Ghosts, Alex Kidd and the Enchanted Castle, Golden Axe, Vector Man, Wonder Boy in Monster World. This is a hell of a lineup for the games that they've announced so far. I mean, from what I've heard... Two of these are kind of difficult to uh, get a hold of physically. Castlevania Bloodlines and Mega Man The Wily Wars. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition? I wasn't quite expecting that along with the Earthworm Gem. I, I was kind of just expecting Sega exclusive games. But then again, a lot of these are Sega exclusive games like the comic... I, I could see it where a good amount of these are ones that have already been released on previous uh, Sega Genesis collections, like the Sega Genesis Classic Collection uh, that they've made. I think they've made one for just about every generation of games from like, I think... No, scratch that. I, th I think they made a one from like the PS3, 360 to... The PS4, Xbox One, Switch era. And they might have done some other ones too, but th there's been other collections before that has like... There's been like a Sonic collection. But... I don't know. I mean, to me, I, I, I'd say if you're able to get a hold of this, get it. Because... 
man, I, I just wonder how much space this thing is, has on it. Okay, uh, so some other stuff about this device. It comes with two controllers. That's good. The controllers themselves are the three buttons of the Sega Genesis controllers. There is other companies that are going to be making official six-button ones. So if you're able to, to you know, find that online or if you're lucky at some point, find it in a store to get some, you can get it that way. In which case, I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I think most of these games will be good with just the three-button controller. Unless you're going to add games to it somehow, if you do. I, I know, I could probably think of a handful of a few more games I wish would go on it. But then again, they are still, they still got to announce ten more games, so. It will have an AC adapter, yay. Uh, <laughs> they're not going to pull a Sony, thank God. Uh, it will have HDMI output, that's nice. Um, let's see. Power cable, USB power adapter. USB power adapter. Hmm. If it's going to be a USB plug-in, I kind of wonder if people would be able to um, add more games. I kind of wonder if they're expecting that or not, because otherwise, eh. You, you can, from what I'm seeing right now, you can still pre-order this from Amazon, GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart... Apparently, VGP.ca, EBGames.ca, probably the Canada places. Cause I, I I'm on their I'm on the main website, which is uh, GenesisMini.Sega.com is their main website that shows the stuff, and you can see the images of the games that they announce, well at least the covers. I, I kind of wonder if if they got the Street Fighter game. Could they get one of the Mortal Kombat games for this? Especially the first one. Considering that the first Mortal Kombat game was a letdown on the Super Nintendo. Not so much on the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis included the whole blood and stuff. Even though the fighter and life bar display were a bit fucked up. I don't know, maybe they could try and get a hold of Disney to include Aladdin in this? Because Aladdin... Looked great, just beautiful on the Sega Genesis, but played better on the Super NES. I I I I feel bad for I I did get the PlayStation Classic thing, and I did get some uh, flash drives and some multi USB plugins, cause I was gonna try and figure out a way to m modify add games. Unfortunately, I never got around to it, so I still got a packaged <laughs> PS1 Classic that I'm still not doing anything with because I'm also in the middle of a move. Middle? Yeah. But I know I know that this is going to be a lot better than that, that's what Sony, that piece of garbage shit that Sony did. Hopefully Sony learned from their mistake, and man... I can't help but look at these and just surprised and kind of not surprised and kind of am. Because a lot of these games you kind of got to expect from Sega. I mean, obviously there's going to be Victor Man. Obviously there's going to be Sonic, Golden Axe. The Comic Zone was just about everything that was released as far as like Sega Genesis Classic Collection. Altered Beast is probably given along with uh, Echo, Echo the Dolphin. Toe Jam and Earl, probably a given... The Robotnik thing, yeah, that's probably a bit obvious. Uh, Streets of Rage... <sighs> I think the three Streets of Rage games was included in the more recent Sega Genesis collection that was released. But I'm still looking at this Mega Man, the Wily Wars. It's like... I, I, I don't remember if it was or not, but I think that was like a, a, a version of a... A hybrid of two Mega Man games, if, if not just the port of the first one. But yeah, uh, this is more or less just me getting in here, getting my opinions on this. And I, I, I hope I'll be able to get a hold of this thing when it comes out. Because at, at this rate, you might not need to really add anything to it uh, unless you really want to. I mean, like I said, I, 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 could figure, I could think 
I could possibly think of a few more games to add so far, but with them still needing to announce ten more games, we can still wait and see. So until next time, bye!